Hello and welcome to practicum 2, the data generating process. Briefly, we're going to look at three variables, gross sales, net profits, and number of customers. Create a histogram, determine the most likely distribution, and count to determine what the parameters are. Those are pretty straightforward. So let's start with our data, brand new. We're going to do it with gross sales. Again, histograms, data, data analysis, select histogram. The input range is going to be all of those. Labels, chart output, and OK. Gross sales. Make it nice and big. We could go back and fix this up a bit, but notice there's definitely a, a, a skew to it, right skewed. Um, notice, however, that gross sales is a numeric variable. Since it's numeric and it's um, continuous, we know that it's got to be either uniform, an exponential, or normal distribution. And looking at this, a uniform would be flat histogram. An exponential would start high and then always go low. A normal would have a little bump to it. Now notice this is not exactly normal because there's an upper tail to it, but normal seems to be the closest of the possible distributions for us. Now the normal distribution has two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. To calculate the mean, it's average the average of those C's. So the mean is 238.379. Let's go ahead and just drop some of those off. And the standard deviation, stdev.s, because it's a sample. Uh, 1114. That's good enough. So gross sales are normally distributed. Standard deviation of 11.14. Next is net profit. So again, data, data analysis, histogram. We're doing it with D instead of C. Everything else is the same. It's going to be a net profit. And let's take a little gander at this. Again, net profit is a continuous variable. Therefore, it's going to be a uniform, an exponential, or normal. Normal uh, Uniform distribution would be flat. This is not flat. Exponential would start high and go low. This doesn't do this. This has a decided, uh, obvious bump to it, which means it's closest to a normal distribution even with these outliers. It's most closely normal. Again, the normal distribution has two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. The mean of the net profit is 1944.541. Standard deviation, again, is stdev.s, because it's a sample. Standard deviation is 1090. I guess it would be 1091. There we go. So the net profit is most closely normal distribution with a mean of 1945 and a standard deviation of 1091. Looks like we had a few days that were really not that profitable. Wow. Good thing it's not that many of those. I'd rather have a lot of these out here. The, the days that are almost $10,000 in net profits. Those are good ones. And the last one is customer served. Note that customer served is a discrete random variable. You can have one customer, you can have two customers, you can't have 1.5 customers. Since it's discrete, that reduces our possible outcome, uh, possible distributions uh, to a binomial, um, Poisson, can't be a binomial because there's no upper bound 
I mean, if I can fit in 300 customers, I can fit in 301. So there's no theoretical upper bound to it, so it's not binomial, which tells me it's going to be a Poisson. Histogram. That's not the histogram I wanted to hit. Let's try that again. Note again, it also does have that shape of a, a Poisson with a right skew to it. Uh, the parameter for Poisson is the mean, or lambda. This is just equal to the average of all of the customers served. So 170, let's call it 172. So the number of customers served is most closely a Poisson random variable with lambda equal to 172. So let's go over this one more time. Started with the data. Gross sales was the first one. We know gross sales is a continuous random variable. Even though it's recorded as integers, I can make gross sales of $1,548.03. I could make gross sales of $1,548.97. Um, since it's a continuous random variable, that means it's uniform or exponential or normal. Uniform would be flat, exponential would start high, go low, uniform would have the bump. I'm sorry, the normal would have the bump. Two parameters to the normal, the mean and the standard deviation. Net profits, very close uh, to uh, gross sales continuous random variable can be uniform this isn't flat though could be exponential it doesn't start high go mean standard deviation customer served this is a discrete random serve 63 customers you can't serve 62 and a half customers so that leaves us with binomial and Poisson this is going to be most closely Poisson because if it's binomial then there is a theoretical upper bound. I mean, the highest I got was, say, 920 customers served. Well, for this sample, the maximum was 921, but there's nothing in the variable itself that means I can't have 922 customers in a day, or 923 customers in a day. So there's really no theoretical upper bound. Hence, Poisson, with parameter 172. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.